Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Daily Digital Show, the one show that keeps you all up to date with what's going on in our digital world. My name is Junior, and today's date is Tuesday, September the 6th. And we have a wonderful show coming up here for you guys today. The first thing off the block, if you love Legos, and I've got two articles coming out uh, just about Legos that is going to change the way that you look at Legos forever. The next one is going to be for all those marketers out there looking for a new creative way using artificial intelligence to reach your consumers. The next thing that I guys have for you today is about a company called Pavia, which is a new metaverse that's actually built on top of the Cardano blockchain. So without further ado, we are going to take a quick break and then jump right into it. All right, guys. So as I mentioned, the first thing that I guys have, the first thing that I have for you guys today is going to be about Legos. And this guy, um, and I'm actually going to kind of scroll down here. This guy, I'm trying to find his name again. I forget his name, um, but it looks like over the past two years, he has been developing the world's first universal Lego sorting machine which is an AI powered automated sorting machine that is capable of recognizing and sorting any Lego part that has ever been produced. Now this to me is just crazy wild because there are a lot, a lot, a lot of different um, Lego parts that's ever been made. And he's actually now able to sort them all. So he did a lot of research on that, the learning process there for that AI machine. Uh, this video here is about three minutes long. I'm not gonna play it all, but I do wanna play a quick snippet of it. two years I've been developing a brand new artificial Daniel West that's his name Daniel West they can take the human element out of sorting altogether by recognizing almost 3,000 different types of Lego part and I call it the universal Lego sorter so let's see how it works the machine is built from over 10,000 Lego bricks it's powered by six Lego motors and nine servo motors the machine can sort any Lego part from its input bucket into 18 different output buckets at a rate of about one brick every two seconds. I was inspired by two other Lego sorting machines that have been built in the past. In 2011, Akiyuki built the first ever brick sorter that was capable of recognizing a large number of pieces. And in 2017, Jacques Matiege demonstrated the first ever use of AI to sort Lego parts. The universal sorter is the next step in this line of evolution. The reason I'm calling it universal is because it is capable of recognizing any Lego part that has ever been produced, even parts the machine has never seen before. It works by using an artificial intelligence technique called a convolutional neural network. The network learns how to recognize Lego parts by training on realistic 3D images. This means it can develop a knowledge of any Lego part for which there's a 3D model available. And this is the first time something like this has ever been done. So the Lego sorter has three major components with All right. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think about that. I think it's actually really, really cool how uh, all that is actually working out. I mean AI is really a a new technology well not new technology. AI is really a technology that is growing in new ways that has never been seen before. Uh, a lot of people are really getting into it. Unfortunately there's not a lot of developers working inside of the uh, deep machine learning space um, and <laughs> quite frankly a lot of people are afraid of getting into that as well because uh, uh, you know fear of robots taking over the world but hey um, that's one of those things that we kind of have to try to maintain try to control uh, just for our own benefit now if you don't want to take that route as far as sorting out the um, Legos one by one I have another article here for you guys which is going to be about actually sorting out the Legos for your exact purpose or exact use. So this company called Brickit, and I actually got introduced to Brickit uh, probably about two years ago when I was a STEM instructor. And um, yeah, and <laughs> to be honest, it's one of the coolest Lego things that I've seen because not only does it sort out every single one of your Legos, it actually allows you to, or it actually sorts them out in a way where you can 
uh, recognize what they are and then actually go ahead and make something out of it so I'm just gonna click here to watch how it works and see this YouTube video so as you can see here they just have a whole bunch of Legos randomly um, the AI starts to recognize all of the different Legos that I, Legos that I have and then from there it gives you suggestions on what you can make with different Legos um, this is perfect if you have children it'll actually tell you uh, the exact instructions on how to make them as well so they'll say hey you've got three of these red bricks three of these white bricks ten of these red bricks go ahead and grab those and you can actually make them and as you can see here also it shows you exactly where they are that they have found them um, I mean this is amazing <laughs> this is amazing for the AI to actually say hey you can make this or that out of all of these different Legos that you have uh, you never have a, a, a chance to run out of old Legos or anything like that teach your old bricks new tricks that's that's amazing um, so yeah you guys definitely check out brick as well uh, that to me in my opinion again is a good use case of using artificial intelligence to actually you know use it for a good reason I see actually nothing nothing wrong with that at all um, so if you love Legos again definitely check that out all right so the next thing that I have for you guys here today is going to be about a company called viral and viral uh, actually came out uh, a couple of years ago uh, and they were doing something unique inside of the I guess marketing space so viral this is an article that I found I was actually pretty useful I'm not gonna go through this article too too much um, but if you guys want to read it I will drop this link uh, inside the description as well and I uh, also have a a video here as well for it so the actual website for viral is what I want to kind of go over to and it actually just kind of talks about who they are what they do which is basically a video I won't call it video sorting but they're basically a, a reverse engineering video sorting uh, platform in which you can actually grab almost any YouTube video um, that is up right now and then you try to figure out what is inside of it so that you can use it to your benefit for marketing purposes um, so here we have um, where did it say that at uh, yeah to help turn browsers we have built a new way to source video content and understand what's being talked about which is video SEO uh, that is profoundly relevant to the brand uh, this is actually integrated with Shopify and everything at all uh, as well um, Harvard unlock the power of shopper generated video marketing uh, so you can discover what's being talked about in videos and these could be videos that uh, your competitors have so say for example your clothing company and your competitors like Gucci or Louis Vuitton or I guess Louis Vuitton is not technically clothing even though they have some clothing um, I don't know I th we talked about Tommy Hilfiger before so that coming to mind um, but yeah so if anybody's talking about Tommy Hilfiger uh, you can kind of see the video what they're talking about what has Tommy Hilfiger been up to what type of marketing Tommy Hilfiger has been doing and stuff like that uh, but also you as well where if anybody's talking about you you can see who's talking about you uh, you can reach out to them you can uh, cater marketing to their their uh, likes and stuff like that as well um, so yes you can analyze oops uh, you can analyze um, uh, all of this information um, you can build campaigns around that information you can license um, based on that shopper generated video and you can turn that right into your uh, commerce platform you can add videos right up to onto your uh, website uh, so yeah video com video commerce made easy and everything is everything is turning video guys if you haven't been watching um, people are not like just reading articles anymore this is no longer just a 2d flat world that's why we're jumping over here to web 3 because uh, everything is turning into video everything is turning into uh, different stuff there uh, I did want to read this those uh, FAQ here uh, virals ability to separate the image audio and text and analyze it so again it separates all of those things and then analyze it in more than nine dimensions is what sets us apart from any other content discovery user review or social listening platform on the market today our unique proprietary AI driven technology m can match millions of videos on YouTube to entire product catalog uh, by product category brand and competitor 
buy real, can capture, watch, and listen, organize, rate, rank, and analyze videos and create a profiles in a fraction of the time than a team of people watching videos one by one and conducting analysis by simple research method methods. Again, if you're not a marketer, you probably don't have to worry about any of this, but if you are, uh, you know exactly how what it means to do that. Um, pricing, pricing for this actually isn't too bad. Monthly price is for about 150 bucks. Depend on what you charge for your product and stuff like that. I mean, you can make this 10 times over uh, and then jump over to, you know, like the annual portion of it, which is about uh, $1,500. So you save 1788 oh, no, uh, no, save 298 Okay. Sorry, I read that backwards. And then if you go over here to D2C Brands, you can kind of see here um, a few other things as well. Use viral proprietary search technology to save hours time trying to find videos yourself identify and license the most relevant and engaging gener user generated videos of your brand across the internet access marketing tools that work seamlessly with your current workflow and distribute videos anywhere uh, on shopping pages amazon walmart youtube and more uh, so easily find micro fans Gain superior intelligence on competitors, source and vet brand safe video content, and then ready to get started. So you can book a demo. I like that transition. Uh, you can book a demo with them as well. So if you're uh, again, if you're a marketer and you really just want to kind of get into uh, more user generated stuff um, using that AI technology uh, and so on and so forth. All right. So the last thing that I have for you guys here is going to be Cardano. Um, well, let me not say Cardano. So this is a metaverse. And this metaverse is actually built on top of Cardano's um, blockchain. Uh, and again, you can kind of see, I have an article that touches on what exactly it is. Uh, the Pavia metaverse is a virtual real estate world that is built on the Cardano blockchain. The metaverse is home to thousands of minted land parcels owned by community members. Each land parcel is sold as a non-fungible token with owners having complete digital ownership over the assets. While it's still in its infancy, Pavia has gained traction with enthusiasts and is now home to more than 17,000 land owners. Now this was done, this article came out in May of May 16, 2022. I'm pretty sure this number here has grown quite a bit. Um, I feel like we all know what Cardano is, but it's an open source blockchain platform aimed at offering sustainability and security for applications that are part of the decentralized network. Um, I think I think I've, I've talked about Cardano before. They are really they are really good um, uh, currency, I would say in that case. Uh, you can get pa Pavia land, of course. This metaverse project consists of 100,000 land plots which were listed on the marketplace in three different phases. All the allocated land parcels were sold in a jiffy and currently there isn't a single land plot available to purchase officially. Each land parcel offers a space of 16 by 16 with a maximum 20 meter building height. Um, so they had again, three different land sales here. Uh, where could you buy land? All of them were sold or allocated on the, um, on the Pavia metaverse are officially sold to the owners. And currently developers don't have any plans of minting new parcels. Uh, so that adds in a bit of rarity and uniqueness to each one of those land parcels. If you don't have one, <laughs> your SOLs, just like the earth, there's only so much of it that we have. Um, how does Pavia work? And that, that doesn't look bad. As far as like a metaverse, that doesn't look bad at all. I like that. Um, so yes, it's a virtual world running on the Cardano engine and is backed by the Cardano community. It's a massive world where virtual land parcels are sold on the marketplace and landowners can do anything they'd like to do on their land. Pavia land parcels can be sold on the secondary market to turn a profit or landowners can deploy Pavia compatible assets or PCAs ranging from single shares to complete zoos and aquariums as long as they fit on the land owned. Um, here is the map for Pavia. What I'm actually going to do, this article is fairly, fairly long. Uh, these are the avatars, which again, don't look bad at all. I'm, I'm loving everything about this. Um, but I'm going to just jump over here to the actual Pavia website and just pay attention to this website. Whoever developed this did a really, really good job. I love websites like this that actually, you know, um, bring some interactiveness to, um, 
uh, to the website as well. So again, it's just a virtual world for NFT collectors and creators. And as I'm scrolling down, you can see everything starts shifting and moving and changing there. Uh, let's build the metaverse together. So that again, they're building a community out of it. Keep scrolling down, whether you're building on land, building new communities and experiences or simply building your own brand. We are all builders. The metaverse won't build itself. So it's down to us. Pavia is a singles instance world made up of 100,000 plots of NFT land and a thriving community. Keep on scrolling down. It's for gamers. Let's play in Pavia. We want to want people to have fun, whether you're a social gamer, a casual gamer or a hyper competitive. We want to win or who we want you to win and be rewarded for your efforts. And of course, since uh, they want you to do that, play to earn, to have a play to earn community. Uh, welcome to the high life. Much like the real world, Pavia enables landowners and creators and visitors a multitude of opportunities to earn in game rewards from trading your generate creations, earning in game rewards, or driving football uh, footfall to your land. You will be rewarded in Pavia tokens as well as exclusive NFTs. And there we have it. Um, so the last thing I want to do is because I like websites like this, I like to click on the menu, uh, whoops, the menu button here. And just so you guys can kind of see how this cool transition um, takes place as well. Like I said, I'm, I'm loving everything about this. So yeah, let me guys know if you guys have heard of Pavi before. Uh, I've recently heard about them probably about a month ago. So I want to share them with you guys as well. Uh, and I, I plan on getting into Pavia a little bit here, hopefully be able to own one of the land pieces um, and so on and so forth as well. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please do tap in with me on all my social media channels. I have the handles inside the description of this video, as well as all the links to all of these articles as well. Um, so definitely check out those if you're interested in them. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with uh, with Pavia and, you know, all of these different metaverses that are. Uh, jumping out of the gate um, and again all those Lego lovers out there make sure you tap in um, to the Bricket app uh, there's actually another app as well and I'm thinking about it I can't recall the name but if you just Google search you know um, maybe what can I what can I make with Legos or AI generate Lego maker or something like that uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of stuff will come up uh, I definitely appreciate your guys this time and until next time you guys have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday